Hey, good evening, everybody. It is the fourth day of Advent. We're still in the first week, so we're talking about hope. We've got two scriptures today that we're going to look at. We're going to look at John chapter 1, verse 11 to 18. We're going to look at Jeremiah 28, 10 through 14. And, and both of these are speaking about that hope for, for, a, for a Savior to save us from the false teachers and the false prophets that were, that were plaguing the people in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Go ahead and we're going to read our first verse here. John chapter 1, verse 11 to 18. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace, for the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father. He has declared him. Jeremiah 28, 10 through 14. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke off the prophet Jeremiah's neck, and he broke it. Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, Even so I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. The prophet Jeremiah went his way. Now the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah after Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Go and tell Hananiah, saying, Thus says the Lord, You have broken the yokes of wood, but you have made in their place yokes of iron. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron on the neck of all these nations. They may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. They shall serve him. I have given him the beasts of the field also. May God bless the reign of his word. May God bless you. Bye.